breakfast. The Radio Wemo Breakfast. Ads with Simon Pound from simonpound.com. Yeah, indeed. Um, who's a, um, a busy, busy father this morning. G'day there, Simon. <laughs> G'day, Glenn. Uh, good morning to you, sir. <laughs> yeah, um, this morning, um, now you, you've, you've been involved um, over the past few months with the Smoke Free Rock Quest and, um, and helping out with the TV show that, that eventually is going to be making it to air. But also, um, I mean, in the process of doing this, you get quite deeply involved with the music as well, don't you? Yeah, um, in, in some ways, uh, p- p- part of um, the Smoke Free Rock Quest is that it's uh, a show for C4 that's there to um, that's there to tell the story and communicate the goals of both the Rock Quest organisation and um, and also the Health Sponsorship Council in that Smoke Free are uh, one of the um, funders of the show. Mm. So in a funny way, um, I, I've you know been getting very excited about branded content lately. And uh, if you look at this the right way, with a bit of a squint, it's actually a um, a very big and complicated bit of branded content. Well, I suppose <laughs> um, it is, really, isn't it? Uh, and it's it's kind of all the things that I, I like about branded content, and that it lives independently on its own as well. And that it is about the stories of the kids and the story of the competition, and it's got to be entertaining for its own value, or else. Um, the associative power for things like smoke free just doesn't exist unless yeah. it is uh, relevant and good and means a lot to the to the kids. So would you say? I mean, it's got multiple goals. I mean, it's got the, the goals of finding great talent, musical talent, mm. um, but also there's that the, the goal on the side of the the, the chief sponsor being smoke free. Um, but there's also the goal, I suppose, of the of the whole competition itself to still stay um, prominent and present. Yeah, and to provide, I mean, it provides a really valuable service to the students. Yeah. Um, it helps uh, show uh, young young people that there is a future in music. It um, helps to act as an escape mechanism for a lot of kids around the country who um, use, use music to, uh, I think teenage years are, are a hard time for a lot of people, and to have something like music or sport or a pursuit that, mm. you know, you can express yourself through, uh, it's, it's very valuable to a lot of them, and the Smoke Free um, Rock Quest shows a lot of people that, you know, if you're a, if you're in a small town and you're really in love with music, there may not be many obvious paths you can take to yeah. get from your goal to, um, to to making it happen, and and the Rock Quest um, gives kids an experience that they may not have had of um, performing on stage and maybe getting to the finals, and at the finals they. Uh, and, and before the finals, they, they get mentored by their bands. So right. Die, Die, Die with a mentor band this year. Oh. And, um, and they've gone around, uh, gone around and done, done shows with the acts at, at places like um, The Void, which is this uh, wonderful all-ages club in Hamilton. And um, in, in, in Christchurch, they did shows with some of the bands that we've been following. And um, they give really generously their time. And then also the judges are um, recognisable music people as well. So mm. people like... Um, Flip Greater and Tim Youngson and uh, Joel Little, uh, really lovely people who give so much of their time with the, the kids to tell them w- what's happening. Uh, and, and yeah, so, so it's, a really, it's a really cool project and it's been a really wonderful thing to be involved in. And when we got to working on this, uh, me and Mikey and Warren, we, we thought that we'd try and structure the show in a way that would mean that you didn't have to have um, an enormous amount of the performance mm. from the young acts. And we thought it would be really interesting to show uh, more the story of who the kids are and why they're involved. Oh, cool. And one of the reasons for this is we wondered if, um, you know, sometimes if you just show a whole lot of um, young musicians playing music, yeah. unless you already know the, mu- the, the, the musicians, you're not going to care about the music, we thought. Yeah. Um, and it could just be a little bit difficult to connect to it. But the funny thing that's happened in the course of the show is that... Um, a, a whole bunch of these acts are incredibly talented and we've started to be fans of the music. So around the office, we're sitting there kind of like listening to the music and singing along and, yeah. uh, and becoming quite big fans of some of these acts. Um, what, I mean, is there one you, particular one you want to highlight at all? Well, um, there's, there's one, and Kiwi FM listeners are going to be hearing some of the finalists coming through next week on um, Fleur Jack's show. Yeah. She's got um, a whole bunch of them coming through. Uh, there's one called M- M- Massad, and he's um, a singer-songwriter who goes to Sacred Heart College, and he's a... Um, he, he, he actually got his push uh, um, along. Uh, Fleur said to him, look, you've got to enter this thing. Uh, so he got pushed into the Rock Quest by her. 
And um, he's a singer-songwriter who uh, has, an, he's, you know, at the age of 15, he got an album released through, uh, he got Amplified to get it up on iTunes. And he's someone that's got a lot of get up and go. And he's on, um, oh, he's, he's, he's all over the place, man. If you turn on Campbell Live, he's on there. And he's part of, like, Play It Strange stuff. And he's um, he plays around the place. And he's recording a new album. And he's got a song that um, uh, is, uh, well, should we just start Mark, Malcolm Jack, actually? I'll make, I'll... I'll, I'll well, we can go out. We can go out on Malcolm Jack. We'll go out on Malcolm yeah. Jack. Okay. Uh, this guy, this guy inside has got this, uh, this this song with this wonderful whistling refrain that um, I think is going to go the distance. And I'll just I'll just flick it, uh, get it ready, so we can play a little bit. Yeah. Um, oh, have you got a, have you got a link there? Yes, it should oh, be winging its way to you. The magic of uh, <laughs> of the interweb. And he um he uh, has been involved in the Play It Strange competition, uh, and. Um, is a songwriter to watch. He's one of the top eight. So we're at the stage now where uh, there are eight bands who are going to be at the final. It's happening in Hamilton on September the 11th. So if you're anywhere uh, near Hamilton or would like a trip down, uh, they've also got Kids of 88, Jay Williams uh, um, pl- pl- playing at the event as well, and Die, Die, Die. And so you've got three bands that have a connection to Rockwest and eight finalists playing on the evening. And who knows that some of these um, acts could end up uh, being uh, part of um, the New Zealand Music Awards in the future as well. Well, absolutely, yeah. man. Like, if you look at, um, there's, there's an enormous list of people who have um, come through uh, Rock, Rockquest and uh, gone on to be uh, big musicians in the country. Like, just people that we are dealing with are people like um, the guys from Cora. They were part of a band called Auntie Beatrice in yeah. 1991. Uh, <laughs> they're going to be helping um, have a chat to us. Uh, people from Op Shop, uh, Stereogram, uh, Fat Freddy's Drop, Fly to the Concords. Pretty much if you name a, a band in New Zealand that's successful, there's going to be a member who's had something to do with the rock west. Got a little bit of Massard going here on the background. Massard Barracat. Nice. Isn't that nice? So that, that's my son, and that whistling song, I think, is, um, it's quite catchy, and he's, he's got a real talent with songwriting, mm. and he's got a real kind of get-up-and-go character, so he's going to go far. And then there's another band that's become the absolute favourite of The Office. Um, uh, we've got nothing to do with the, the voting or anything, so we can't, um, we can't, <laughs> can't avoid anything that. here. <laughs> but um, it's called Malcolm Jack, and they're from Otomotai College, which is uh, a small school in... Uh, just just uh, on the outskirts of Tauranga. And one of the things we've been doing here is trying to, uh, the, we're doing profiles on all of these acts and trying to find out what they get into and what they get up to and what happens where they're from and what they do for fun. Mm. Um, and, you know, I call them up and they're like, well, not much happens here. It's a retirement village. Uh, people die occasionally. Uh, <laughs> the streets are empty and, and, and not much happens. So what they do is they jam. They just... Uh, they, they, they love to make music, and they make this music in the style of um, a folk kind of poppy rock uh, that that's really lovely um, storytelling, really lovely harmonies, and re- really lovely music. Uh, they, they're big fans of Fleet Foxes and Bon Iver mm. and the like, and have managed to make um, some really quite compelling and mature-sounding um, music, like really, really confident uh, music for a bunch of 16, 17-year-olds. Cool, well, we'll go out on their track called New Company. Yeah, and um, they're, 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 yeah, all, all of these bands um, we, we've cut little music videos for, so as the show goes to air, which is happening um, from the end of September through to the beginning of November, um, we'll have music videos and the like. Perfect. Thanks very much, Simon. Great. Cheers, mate. In the meantime, check out Simon at simonpound.com, and here is Malcolm Jack, the track called New Company. Your crimson colors 
suck the life right out of me to sweep me dry of my precious money. Now we can't stand each other's company. I was a fool to be so greedy, but I. Your reason. 